welcome to Knuckles Valley. My name is Rob Knuckles. I'm the PGA Director of Golf here at Golf Club of Indiana. And today we're going to talk about the knee knocker. These five and six footers that we have all the time. If you learn how to do these much better, your game's going to get a lot better. And it's going to be a lot more fun too, right? Stick around. Knuckles Valley is coming your way next. Knuckles Knowledge. I'm PGA Director of Golf, Rob Knuckles. We're out here on the uh, third green at Golf Club of Indiana. And today we're talking about these uh, knee knockers, the short putts, right? So I have set up here two different putts, two that cause all kinds of trouble for people. First of all, we have about the three foot putt and then of course the uh, five or six foot putt. The three foot putt causes people, I think, a ton of trouble because they think they should make it 100% of the time. And best, guess what? Uh, you, you are correct. Yes, you should always make this putt. It causes people trouble for two reasons. Number one, because they think they should make it every time, they don't concentrate on it. They just walk up and they slap it in the hole. Um, it works about 50% of the time, which is the average amateur uh, statistic is a 50% make and 50% miss. Isn't that crazy? Um, I wanted you to, to go back and remember the first putting lesson that we talked about. It's called P&L. Remember? Pace and line. And if you don't take both of those into consideration every single time that you putt, any length of putt, you will miss putts more often than you'll make them. Pace and line are very important. You have to think about those every single time. Pace has to be eliminated. Line has to be always, always thought about. All right. So a great drill to make sure that your putting numbers and that percentage goes way up and becomes from 50% to 99 to 100% is called a push drill. And from three feet, if you're struggling to make these or have struggle with your confidence in this, this area, there's two reasons of that. You're either decelerating, which means you're not following through the putt all the way to the hole, or you're not concentrating on the line which means you're just kind of walking up and slapping it in like we talked about. So I want you to do this drill. I want you to put a ball down uh, about three feet from the hole. Do not take a backstroke. All I want you to do is aim on the line that you want the ball to go, and I want you to push the ball on line to the hole. Push it, just like that. Just push the ball. Just take the putter behind the ball and push it. Follow through all the way to the hole, just like that. If you can push the ball on the line and push it in the hole from three feet, you're gonna make all of your putts. Now, you can't do that on the golf course turn around golf, it's an illegal stroke. You have to actually take a real legal stroke, which means a backstroke and a forward stroke, right? And hit the ball. But this drill forces you to follow through to the hole, right? So when I take this push drill and I aim my putter at the on the line and I push my putter towards the hole, towards the line, I can get that ball to go in the hole. So when I take my actual stroke and I go back and I force myself to forward, follow through all the way to the hole, I don't decelerate and I force myself to hit it on the line, I can make every single three footer every time I putt it. Try the push drill from three feet. If I see all my members out there next week doing this push drill, I know they paid attention to this drill. This putting, putting drill from three feet will help you make 100% of your three footers, I promise. Because then all you concentrate on is the line and you're following through to your hole, all right? Now when we go back here to this five footer or six footer, it becomes a little more complicated. Yes, the push drill is a great drill for any length of putt up to about 10 feet, uh, maybe 15 feet. You get back to 20 feet and you're really just trying to bang it too far. It's just not a very effective drill that far back. But from this distance right here, something else comes into line into the to the picture. We have to go back to that PNL lesson that we talked about, and that's the line. Now I've already stepped this off. It's three paces. So my my pace for today is about five on this green. It's slightly downhill, so it's about maybe a four pace putt. So it's a little bit faster. But line is very important. And from five to eight feet. The toughest thing for most people to do is get it online and visualize what the line is that we're trying to make. 
this particular putt is going to come in this hole at about here. All right, it's going to enter the hole on a slightly inside left edge putt. So it's not quite dead straight. It's coming in from slightly this left edge. If I hit it on the pace that I want it to come in, which is just kind of trickling in at the hole because it is downhill, I have to start the ball at slightly inside that left edge from where this ball is sitting. For me to do that and practice this effectively, I'm going to use a, a target line or target dot that's out in front of my ball. Because the most important part of a line when you putt is that far in front of your ball. And that is, going back to this drill, as far as my putter face needs to stay square past the golf ball. If I can get my putter face to go that far square past the golf ball on the line that I'm trying to putt, I can pretty much guarantee that I've started the ball online, at least the line that I've chosen, and the ball should go at least, if I've picked the line correctly, on the line I've chosen and into that left edge of the hole when it gets out there. So I'm going to place that target about an inch or so, or two inches or so, out in front of my of my ball. And I'm going to make sure that it's on the line that I want this ball to start on. It looks pretty close to that. Now it's definitely out here going to hit that and probably bounce my ball offline just a little bit. But for drill purposes, I don't really care. I'm just going to make sure that I start my ball over that target. And if it you know goes over that target and rolls straight, great. It might probably still go in. My goal is to make sure that when I follow through, that my putter goes over that target. My ball starts over that, my putter goes over that. It's very similar to the push drill. In other words, I'm going to make sure that my putter goes over that target so it's down that line. I've paced it off so I can eliminate pace. I'm going to start this over that target, back through, start it over the target, knocked it offline just a little bit. I feel comfortable that I started it on my line. Again, this is the drill that I use every time. Now, if I'm out there trying to make these particular putts, I am probably using a paint dot or a piece of dirt or a piece of lint or something that I'm sticking on the ground so it doesn't affect the roll of the ball. But for here, I'm just going to make sure that I put this uh, down here so for you guys to see. However, so I'm going to put this on the line, make sure it's started on the line that I want, back through right over that target, try to make sure that it starts on line. I'm going to get this out of the way, put a little dot here on the green. Now let's see if I can start this thing online and get this thing to roll in the hole. Eliminate pace, try to make this in the hole, start it over my target, follow through to the hole, start it right online. Perfect. Just exactly what I'm looking for, right? So in both of these putts, there are two things that has to happen. We have to make sure that we start the ball online. We have to make sure that we don't decelerate or slow down through the pacing of the putt because we have to follow through over my target and all the way to the hole, right? On the short putts, we're going to use the push drill. Really important. It's a great drill to use. Three or four footers, Use the push drill. Push yourself right off to the target. It's going to help get you right on line and keep that deceleration down to a very, very minimum. Back a little bit further, put something down in front of you, about that far out in front of your golf ball, and use that as your target gauge. Don't concentrate on the golf ball. Concentrate on the face of your putter going over that mark. Two inches or so in front of the golf ball, if you can get that putter face on that target line, over that ball, accelerating through that point, you're going to make more putts for five or six feet. These knee knockers, nothing. They're going to be easy. Well, that's it for this week's edition of Knuckles Knowledge. Hopefully those drills will help you get better with your short putting game. If you need help with your game, come see us at Golf Club of Indiana and the Golf Performance Academy. We'll be happy to help you with any part of your game. And if you like Knuckles Knowledge, hit subscribe and hit like. You can get all my videos in one spot. Right now, I think I'm going to go play a little golf. It's a beautiful day, and it's, uh, it's just been calling my name. We'll see you next time right here on Knuckles Knowledge.